My name is Big Wild Badass McGee, and I'm gonna show you how to survive in some of the toughest environments in the world. It won't be easy, but with my expert skills, I will teach you how to survive, make shelter, make fire, and feed like a king. You never know when you'll be thrown into a survival situation, and with my guidance, you will survive any situation. <laughs> yes, that's right, you can thank me later. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, I'm JTP and welcome to the long dark. We're gonna burn grills this shit up, baby! I've got my coat on, uh, cause it's gonna get very cold in here. I've also got my tea to warm my insides. These are the two first survival tactics of this video. If you don't have a coat on right now, or tea at your side, doesn't have to be tea, can be coffee or hot chocolate, whatever you fancy, it has to be warm though. No. Uh, you can, you know, heat up orange juice for all I care, but you gotta have a hot drink and a coat on, or you're not gonna survive this playthrough! Okay, so let's begin. So, the Long Dark is a game I've had for quite a while now, like a year or so. And it was in early access until about last week. It was the 1st of August, I think it came out of early access. And it's a full release game now. And I had no idea. I only know this because I just happened to go back and watch a YouTuber I haven't watched in ages. And he was playing the Long Dark story campaign. So I was like, fuck it, i got to get on and play some of this. So um, we're going to play the story campaign of the Long Dark. It's absolutely new to this um, update. So I have no idea how the story is going to play out. But basically, the main gist of things is you've crashed in the wilderness of Canada, and you've got to survive. So, let's just get straight into it. New game, episode one. Do not go gentle. Is that, is that a sexual reference or is that survival? Okay, okay, my production team are telling me it's survival. Or sexual reference, depends, you know, no one's out there to judge you. And then just before we start, I know I'm dilly-dallying, but we've got episode two and episode three, episode four, episode five, there's five episodes. Okay! Good to know! The wolves just told me you're going to die! Painfully! Let's just go. <laughs> Here we go, baby. I love survival games. And a survival game with a story. You don't get many of those. Mackenzie! Mackenzie, wake up! Hillland presents. Hinterland presents. Shut up. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know, I know we're in a survival situation and all. But look at that sky. Astrid. Oh! That don't look good, man. That don't look good. You got fucking metal through your hand. Oh, don't take it out. You should always, like, leave stuff in, shouldn't you? Never take it out unless you've got something to bandage it with. Ah, okay. Well, it doesn't matter. It's too late now. Stick it back in. Because <laughs> it'll just start bleeding and you'll bleed to death. The long dark. Look how beautiful this game is. I want. I wanted to do something. Okay, shelter. Okay, I've got it. There's a cave over there. We've got this. Yeah, I've wanted to do the long dark for ages, but I didn't exactly know how to do it. I didn't just want to jump in and do survival because, you know... I wanted to do something a little bit different. Let's pick up some sticks while we're here. Let's just pick up whatever we can, anything loose that we can pick up and uh, use for survival. Uh, this is probably going to be quite dark for you guys. I'll put it up in editing so you guys can actually see it alright. It's going to be harder for me to see things than for you guys to see things, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to do like a roleplay survival kind of thing with it. And I was just kind of waiting for the right idea, waiting for the right moment, and uh, turns out, first aid! Turns out, you know, the game came along and gave me a story mode, so piss easy, really. I might still come back and do, you know, a roleplay kind of... I'll come up with my own little scenarios in this sandbox mode, that sounds pretty cool. There are many ways to die in the woodness, I can imagine. Uh, medical treatments, man-made or harvested from, na from the natural world, will save your life. Use the status screen to check your health. Apply treatment using the first aid reticule menu. Redi med ridicule menu. Uh, you can use your treatments from your pack menu. Okay. Uh, 
The key to survival. Preparation and self-control are vital to your survival. Check your controls. I know the controls. I jumped in this morning and, um, you know, worked it all out. First aid, bandages. Um, apply bandage to... Where was that? I don't know. Hang on. Let me uh, take a look. So, how am I doing? I still got my hand that's a bit fucked. Can I uh, sort that out? Applying bandages. Oh, come on. That treatment did do anything. Oh, of course it didn't. Let's get inside and do this. Why am I doing it out in a bloody snowstorm? That sounds like a bad idea. Let's pick up all this wood, though. Can I pick... Can I just set myself... Ah, oh, I can set myself on fire. Okay. Fire. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, we need to set up fire. It's not because I'm on fire. Okay. That was a really bad idea. Why did I do that? Crap. <laughs> ah! I don't know how to um, stop that from burning, to be honest. Oh, like that? Take antibiotics. That'll stop infection. Nice! Did that work? I'm not sure. Let's take another antibiotics and probably OD. Right hand, yeah, go. You know what? We're just going to have to assume it's okay. That was a stupid idea. Uh, I don't know why I was testing game mechanics. Okay, I've got um, a fire. I need to put it somewhere. Here we go. I can put it here. Boom. Okay. Right, I have picked up some stuff so we can get a fire going. Wait, is there a journal or something I can um, keep track of what I'm doing? Yes, there is. Okay. Start a fire. I can do that. I can do that indeed. Fire. Boom. Fire. Man, make fire. Hoorah. Okay, 75%. Uh, okay, we've only got 75% of this actually working. So, um... Here we go! Start fire! Come on, baby! <sighs> Gotta, you know, blow underneath it to get the oxygen in. I was in scouts! I know what I'm doing! This is my only chance of survival! Without fire, we die now! I mean, we could just drink our tea and um, hope for the best. Come on! It looks like it's going! Yes! It Woo! It would be a piss take if it didn't work, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, let's collapse in this pile of bones. By the way, are we not worried about the fact that we're in a cave full of bones? You know, that might be bad. It won't belong to a mountain lion or a bear or a pack of wolves even. It doesn't seem great. Okay, there's got to be a way to melt some stuff. Snatus. Snatus? Status. It is your early morning warning system. When you bring up the quick stats or the reticule menu, you'll get a preview of your current condition, as well as information about how cold, tired, hungry, and thirsty you are. Any time one of these state- okay, so yeah, it, 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 it's just, um, it's that. Yeah, so I'm dehydrated and I'm ravenous. Okay, I'm also still got burns. Can I just go sit in the, um, wait, that's my campfire? Okay, cool. Yeah, can I, can I just uh, put my hand in the snow? Won't that work? Better see what I can use. Okay, let's have a look round. There's got to be some good stuff around. What's this? Cardboard box. Um, don't think I need that right now. I just need food, really. And I'll pick up any wood that I can find to make that fire, because I need to melt some snow. So I'll need fire for that. Looks like debris from the hello, hello, hello. Indeed, it does look like debris from the crash right above. Wait, there's a cat crash site above? Okay, hang on. Oh, the tail of the plane's up there. Wait, so what part of the plane is this? How did I get down here? <laughs> I must have flew. Jesus, how am I alive? I need to find something to drink. Okay, working on it, mate. Working on it. I won't do anything like that right now. Let's just pick all this shit up. Um, and then, I think, if I remember rightly, you go to the fire and you burn or you melt snow. Let's try this out. Here we go. Yeah, we'll just break that down. And, ooh! Well, thank you very much! And then, uh, we'll break this one down as well. We've got the time. I've got rations now, so I can then just, you know... Ooh, accelerant. Perfect! We need that to start a fire. That'll, mm, That'll get the fire going beautifully. Cold is making my head feel thick. Yeah, don't worry. I'll get inside. I'll get a fire going. We'll have some food. We'll have some water. It's gonna be fine, mate. I've got rations and everything now. I just wanna get inside before I eat it, because, you know... Who wants to eat a meal in the cold? There's no way to eat your meals. Okay, right. So the fire's burnt out. Let's uh, let's use some 
newspaper this time, actually. And let's use a stick, accelerant, let's go. Oh, yes, with accelerant, it goes so much faster. Whoa, don't walk into the fire! Oh, okay. So what I need to do is I need to whack this shit on there. Beautiful. Whack all this on there. Oh, yes. Put something out on there. Let's get to four hours. Beautiful. Okay, right. Now, food, water. Here we go. I can melt snow. So let's go for a gallon and a half. That'll be plenty. That'll be more than enough. And we're still going to have plenty of fire left. That's good. And boom. Okay, nice. Now, let's melt that snow. How do we do that? Oh, no. Purify water. You know what? I'm not going to use that right now. I'm just going to boil it. I've got the time. Let's save the purification tablets for a time we don't have a fire. See? Survival. Beautiful. Okay. We've now got plenty of water. Can I, um, can I heat any food up? No. Okay. That would have been nice to get a nice hot meal going. Well, let's eat these rations. That's 107, 1,000, sorry, 750 calories. That's beautiful. Eat that. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Just stuff your face, mate. You deserve it. After <laughs> after the day you've just had, I've thrown you into a fire. You've been in a plane crash. Oh, it's been awful, I can imagine. And let's drink that beautiful water. Mmm. Boom, baby. We're feeling better already. Infection risk, plane crash injuries. Oh, shit. Um... Um, um, a bottle of antibiotics, take it to stop infection. Okay, so that cleans wounds. Okay, so let's take that. Right hand, chest. Um, right hand, I suppose. Okay, treatment didn't do anything. Well, fuck you. Fuck you, man. Okay, take antibiotics for that. Please work. That didn't work. Oh, well, come on! I've just... I've just wasted my last antibiotics. What am I meant to be doing? Treat the risk of infection. Okay, so I'm going to have to use that. What are you doing? Don't walk forward. My keys um, are a little bit screwed. Especially my W key. My W key is actually stuck in place. So that's why my guy keeps walking forward every now and then. <laughs> okay, do this. This is my last bit. If it doesn't work, it worked. Woo! I'm just holding a match. Why am I holding a match? It doesn't matter. He's gone to bed. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's day three. I'm gonna need a good long fire to keep from freezing to death. That's a good idea, my man. That's a good idea. But first, these matches I'm holding. Can I put them away? Unequip. There we go. Okay, so how am I doing? I've still got burnt hands. <laughs> uh, and I've still got plane crash injuries from the fall. Right, okay. That's just not great. So what am I need to be doing? Sorry, I just need to look at my journal. Build a fire in the cave that will last nine hours. Okay, we have got some work to do, boys. We've got some real work to do. We've got time, so let's just break down as much wood as possible. Collect it all, baby. Collect it all. Sorry, I can't really hear you, mate, over the really loud storm. What's over here? Oh, 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 that is... That is death down there. Um, so maybe we're forced to stay in this area for now. I don't know how we're getting out of here, but pff, I'm sure the game's thought of that. It's fine. <laughs> well, I'm hoping the game's thought of that anyway, because uh, I sure as hell haven't yet. Okay, it's starting to get dark. A little bit worried about that. Um, quickly, get as much stuff as possible. Yes, I I'm well aware, mate. Your hand probably hurts a lot. Oh, God, it's getting so dark. Okay, uh, what the fuck is that? Oh, books. I will take all them. Thank you very much. Okay, don't bother collecting anything that's not loose anymore because we're going to start running out of time. Uh, just grab all of this shit. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm starting to get hungry as well. That's not good. I haven't got any more food. Okay, one more thing. We'll break down one more thing and then I think we're good. And not a moment too soon because it is getting so dark. I'm struggling to see things. Let's get inside. Okay. Just quickly, can I, um... Oh, God, everything's wet. Oh, God, it's not going well. <laughs> it's not going well at all. Can I make... Yes, I can make bandages. Begin crafting. It's going to take some more time. I probably should have got the fire going before I did that. But fuck it, I suppose. Um, right, apply bandages. Please work. 
Oh, thank God. Okay. That helped a little bit. Can I apply it again, please? Come on, work. Oh, come on. Okay, well, it worked the first time. That's all we can ask for. <laughs> right, let's get the fire going. Let there be fire! Nice. Okay, right. Now we just got to add everything. Add fuel. Add fuel. Add it all. No, are we going to make it? Oh, well, we'll make it easy. There we go. Woo! Well, to warm up before I freeze to death. Yeah, let me just drink some water first, mate, because uh, you're getting thirsty as fuck. And boom. Okay, nice. Oh, yeah, now we just got to wait here and wait for me to warm up. See, this is the pleasant side of surviving, you know? That should last me through the night. There we go. Beautiful. Now we're warm. We're so toasty. Tired. Let's go to bed, mate. Good job. You're doing well. You're doing really well. I thought that storm would never end. Hmm. Me neither. Sorry, I feel a bit bad. I'm here drinking tea and this guy's, you know, struggling to survive. He almost died a few times. Um, <laughs> wait, it just said my burns are healed. Yes! Okay, so, when you, when you, um, what's the word? Sleep? Um, your stuff heals over time, which is nice. And look at that. Oh, beautiful. The fire's still going. Okay. So I need to find your ears are your best survival tools. Pay attention to your surroundings and you might glean information that's important for your survival. For example, a murder. Okay, you see, a crows like those will lead me to dead bodies. It was a hell of a storm last night. It was mental. And in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to boil a little bit more water while that, that campfire is going. Because there's no point just leaving it here doing absolutely fuck all, you know? Um... Let's just go for half a gallon. I don't know if we'll have time to do any more. Oh, we should have plenty of time. Let's go for another half a gallon after this. Uh, yeah, please. Another half a gallon. Uh, because, you know, you never want to waste resources. And just leaving that there, eh, not really doing much for us. So, um, I'm going to be very smart about this and, you know, get everything on the go. In fact, I could go for another gallon. Oh, that would be greedy. How much do I have currently? Um, oh, let's go for another gallon. Fuck it. We've got, we've got time. And we've got the resources. Um, that way I am never going thirsty. Mm -mm -mm. That is some good water, my dude. Freshly boiled and melted by moi. The best chef in Canada. Well, the best chef for about a thousand miles. So, yeah, the best chef in Canada. Why not? Okay, so we're going up here. Was this here before? Am I going crazy or was this not here before? <laughs> Oh, deer! We have a whole deer! Yes! And what the fuck is this? Hello! Oh! Okay, I'm just gonna, um... Oh, here we go. <laughs> what the hell is in there? I need a code. What? Fuck! Just headbutt it! <laughs> You're that badass, aren't you? Oh, okay, hello. Cutscene, love it. Jack Rabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Morgan. What are you talking about? It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... Th I know. 
but I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie, look, Will, I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad, but it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost, all because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Oh, it's going to be a rough ride, all right. We're going to crash, boys. <laughs> We're going to go plummet into the ground. I did not expect cutscenes. That's fucking awesome. It's a proper, fully fleshed out campaign. And the art style is... Mwah. In this case, Loving the art style. True. Asterix! Asterix! Okay. Well, can't find her. Can we search her bag? No, we can't. Okay. Well, I found a deer and some more wood. What I'll do is that's my coat? Clothing. Yeah, I know about clothing. Um, so, hang on a minute. I'll wear that. Beautiful. It's frozen at the moment, but it'll melt. Don't worry. I could probably climb that. I could climb this. What can I climb? Oh, this. Okay, but what about this? This carcass could save my life. This doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? Oh, yes, baby. Okay, we're getting neat. Um, let's get... Let's get... Well, that's not a whole lot of calories, to be honest. Let's get 2.5. Why not? We can always come back for more later. It's getting cold now. Fuck, bro. so cold in my life. It's fine, it's fine, Mackenzie, it's fine. We've got me, I'll get you back to the cave, we'll cook it up, everything's gonna be fine. But not an episode there, because it's getting quite long. Um, everything you eat can kill you. Well, thanks. Um, that's good to know. Right, do I just need to uh, get back to the cabin now? See if you're strong enough to climb the ravine, explore the ravine. You need to find food to survive, gathering what you can to eat. Okay, um, well, let's climb, I suppose. Am I strong enough? I suppose I'm not yet. No. No, I'm not. Oh! That was a bad idea! Mackenzie, idiot! Oh, okay, this is a new um, tutorial. <laughs> Mother Nature's painkillers. Oh, that's what these are! Ah! So, wait, hang on. Can I, uh, 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 take it and I'll take all of these. Fuck it. I'm taking them all! We're destroying Mother Nature at its heart. Um, and then can we... You can make tea. Okay, we can make tea with it. Well, let's go back then and make some tea because um, tea is what we need. You know, you guys, you guys around the world, you don't li listen to us British people. We're always saying tea is the best substance, you know, to uh, heal your wounds, to make you happy, to pass the time. And everyone's like, God damn British and their tea. They don't know what they're talking about. No, we do, sir. Tea saves your life in a survival situation. Why do you think Bear Grylls, a British man, is the most famous survival expert in the world? Coincidence? Probably. 
Yeah, probably definitely a coincidence. I'm getting really hot in this coat, by the way. Fucking hell. I've got to end this episode soon. I'm going to fucking melt myself. Okay, we don't have a whole lot of wood or anything. So, um, this is probably going to go real fucking bad. We'll all have accelerant as well. Bollocks. <laughs> well, here we go. Here goes nothing. Come on. Come on. Feel, feel the head. Communicate with the sun gods. Oh, mighty sun gods. Come on. Bring us fire to save the life of which we ail. I don't know what I'm saying. Just just start the fire. Boom. Okay, nice. How long have I got? 13 minutes. Not good enough. Um, go on. Go down. Go down. There we go. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. Add fuel. Add all this fuel. Okay, beautiful. Right. Let's cook some of this venison up. Beautiful. Mm. We are... Cooking tonight, boys. We are eating like men. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, let's uh, cook another one up. Why not? And then, to be honest, um, I'm thinking... Actually, we should probably cook both of them up, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's cook them all up. Because, you know... Oh, wait. Should I? It's going to go rotten. That was probably a bad idea, but eh. Oh, well. Um... <laughs> And also, while I'm here, my coat should be, yeah, my coat is uh, defreezing and drying out, which is good. This is beautiful. Okay, where's the venison? There's the venison. Oh, can I, um, I need to make that as well. So let's, um, I don't know what's happening with my screen right now. It's going a bit mental, really. Okay, beautiful. So all of these venison are going to bring my hunger up so much. Oh, this is, this is easy living. Who said surviving is difficult? <laughs> I've, I've just had a feast fit for a king yeah, in a cave. You know? Good times. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to end it there then, wherever he wakes up. And my sprained ankle's healed. <laughs> See? It's all good. It's all good. I don't know why any of you were panicking, ever, you know? Okay, are we good? Day five. You feel stronger? Nice. Okay. I'm going to do that next episode. Knowledge. What do you, what you know can save you. As you as you as you learn things about the world, either through own actions or through interactions with people, you unlock knowledge about people, places, things, and actions. Deeper knowledge can be revealed when you gain the trust of other survivors you meet. We're gonna meet other people. Up until now, it's just been you alone in the middle of nowhere. Are we actually gonna meet other people? This knowledge is tracked your journal for future reference. Okay, so we basically just finished the tutorial today, which was quite nice. And next time we're going to get out of the canyon and we're going to find out what cold, desolate death approaches us on the other side of that ravine. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, share and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. I'm actually really excited for this. Uh, it's such a good game and I'm so excited that it's out fully now and they've got a full-on story campaign that's actually awesome. So thank you very much. Until next time, I shall say good <laughs> Sister! Sister, we've unleashed the demons! You're going to die! Well, actually, would they... Would she harm Josh? They've got to be pissed, right? They've got to be pissed. I'm going to ask Beth.